All right, a good length for your beans. Usually one about the size of a pencil is a good length for the beans. Not, not the length, I mean for the thickness of your beans. And uh, looks like I got quite a bit of beans here to harvest. Look, right here is a bunch. Look at this. I'm going to have a good night here. All right, those look uh, just, just about perfect. Perfect length. These are pretty long. They did pretty good. All right, I'll get back with you uh, when I get these beans picked. We'll see you in the kitchen. After we cut the beans up, and sort through them all. I um, rinse them two times and after I rinse them I put them in a bath water for with ice for about an hour that way they can rehydrate themselves. Now that the beans are clean I got my water boiling. You boil your beans for 10 minutes. We'll be back in 10 minutes. <laughs> All right. Our beans are done. We'll drain it pretty good here. All right. Oh, I can put it right here in the jar. Container here, right here. Put it in the blender. For um, this is four cups of beans. For four cups of beans, it is a teaspoon of salt. Now we're going to use the water that I boiled the beans in. It's good and hot. Because you'll have to, um, in order to uh, puree it up, it's too, it will be too thick here. So I'm going to start out with about a cup and a half of water. Now because it's hot, I'm going to leave this vent so no pressure builds up in it. <laughs> Alright, it's going to be kind of loud here. Alrighty, let me test our thickness. Looks like it can use maybe about another fourth a cup of water. Because when you can it, then it thickens up too as you're canning it in the canner. I'm going to let it process for about a minute and we'll be right back. That looks like a very good uh, thickness to be, you know, to put it in your jars. After you're done canning it, when you uh, get ready to feed your baby, it will be thicker in the jars. So what you can do, you can use water, milk, or even breast milk to thin it down to what you feel that your baby needs. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of these up and then we'll get back with you when I get ready to do the jars. All right. Then I keep the seal in there to keep it good and hot. This is an older canner and it's hard to get seals for the older canners. So you can call the company and they can kind of give you a replicant of one, but it's just like centimeter smaller. And in order to use it, you have to uh, heat the um, 
the gasket up and then it expands and then it fits. Right, I'm going to empty the water out. I only do about three or four jars at a time. That way the jars stay good and hot. All right, then I put this all back in. Now the peas are good and hot still. We're gonna fill these up about an inch from the rim. Okay. And do one more here. When you can this, after it cools, and when you go to open up the baby food, if it's a little too thick, you know, for your baby to eat, there's a couple things you can do to thin it out with. You can use a little bit of sterile water. You can use baby formula. Or for you nursing moms, you can use breast milk to, th to thin out the baby food. Now we got to get the air out of it. You get little air pockets, and during the canning process, it can form pressure and kind of pop up your lids. Then sometimes you won't get a good seal. That just releases any air bubbles that are in there. And I always tap it. All right, now. We clean the food off the lids. Some people use vinegar. I don't, I've been doing this for years and I use a nice um, clean sterile cloth. All right, then we put our lids on. When you put the rings on, you put it finger tight. You don't put it on real tight, it's not necessary. All right, take this out. I'll put these back in the canner to keep them hot. My... We'll bring the other jars out. And then you just repeat the process until your canner's full. I'll be right back with the video as soon as I uh, get these filled up. <laughs> okay, now that I got all these uh, in, the, in the canner, and I'll say this in every video when I'm canning. I don't know if you can, probably can't see the steam coming up. But you have to put this, um, um, put the heat up, and there has to be steam that comes up for 10 minutes. You have to let the steam, you got to let the pressure build up, build up, let all the steam before you put the, um, oh, what's that called again? The regulator. <laughs> the regulator, uh, 10 pounds. But this has to be 10 minutes before we do that. I'll get right back to you when it comes time to, uh, Pull them out of the can when the regulator starts jiggling. Now with this uh, starts uh, jiggling around, dancing around like this, that's when you start your timer for 20 minutes on the uh, baby food for the uh, green beans. Now 
my 20 minutes is up. I'm going to leave the canner sit and let it cool down before we uh, open it up. I check, make sure the pressure's out, and all done with. And remove that. All right. Take the lid off. Now I take it off slow, enough to let some of the hot air or the cold air so it doesn't go in and hit those hot jars. So I just give it a few seconds here. Okay, then I lift the lid up. Now I'll let this sit here for about a couple minutes before I pull the jars out. That's um, what I got out of all these uh, green beans. And uh, this is uh, baby food for my little grandson, Zeke. Okay, that wraps it up uh, with this video on making the uh, baby food for the green beans. And um, I want to thank you for joining me on this video. And if you could uh, please hit the subscribe button and the bell for any future upcoming uh, videos. All right, thank you. This is Grace from Growing with Grace from the Garden to the Jars. <laughs> Bye.